guys, it's Lori from Passionate Penny Pincher, and we are doing kind of a Dollar Tree DIY, but really stuff that you can do at home. This is the funnest. I am so excited about this little project. All you need is a rock from the Dollar Tree or just a big rock, maybe if you have one in your backyard. I just didn't have one. You're also gonna need some dirt. You need some pots. We're gonna make this. This is so super fun. I'm hoping everything's working. Y'all let me know as you hop on if everything's working. You're also gonna need an old plate. So this is a dish. Um, if any of y'all had any of the candles from Hive and Home Market, this is one of their candle buckets and I just burned out everything on it and it works really, really well. So um, I love this guy. So. Melted out all the candles here. Y'all let me know as you're hopping on. Let me know if the audio is working and the video is working so I can see your comments for sure. And then let me know where you're watching from. If you're watching from Facebook or YouTube, I would love to know that. I'm um, hoping everything is working. So you're gonna start with your, with some dirt. Actually, we're gonna start with some rocks. I'm gonna start with these first. I'm gonna just double check and make sure we're connected. Oh, yay, I can see your comments. Hey, sorry, hey, Christina. Tell me good morning, tell me if you wanna make a DIY. Also, guys, just really fast before I get sidetracked. Y'all, I'm gonna try to be better about getting sidetracked, but that's probably not gonna happen. Grab your home planner if you have it. If you're at home right now watching, grab your home planner. Um, we are gonna walk also through everything in the home planner. So we're gonna do that as well at the end. So let's start with our DIY and then we'll do some home planner stuff. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our rocks and we're gonna put them at the front of this bin. Good morning, hey Jan, hey Lizzie. Also guys, hit that share this button on Facebook to enter to win a $25 Amazon gift card on YouTube. On YouTube, leave a comment and we will choose one person to win. Y'all let me know, do y'all love DIYing or not so much? Are y'all DIYers? Hey, Jen, John, I'm so glad to see you. Good morning in Florida, Laura. Tell me what's the weather like where y'all are. Is it warm or cold? It is absolutely beautiful here today in Tennessee. It's just a really nice, like I'm looking out, um, it's gotten warmer, thankfully. It was really chilly. Um, the whole town is on spring break, which means that it's been a little quieter here as we've been doing stuff. So that's kind of been nice to have it be a little bit quieter for sure. Let me keep moving this up to see those comments. Y'all keep letting those comments come through. I'm hoping everything is working. Okay, so we've got our rocks in the bottom of the bin. Then we're gonna add in the back, we're gonna put a little bit of soil. Now, I'm gonna tell you a secret. So really the perfect way to do this is to let some stuff grow in here. I am gonna show you the after effects. So I'm gonna put these guys in the back and these are just some purple hyacinth. Um, we looked for everything that would be the perfect thing for this. There's some purple hyacinth. It's warming up as the morning goes. Hey, Diane, so glad to see you. Hey, Holly, not much of a DIY person. Oh my gosh, I would love to know if y'all are DIY. This is a, such an easy DIY. I feel like this is more almost like gardening, but it's a pretty centerpiece you can have, especially, y'all, this is gonna be an Easter centerpiece that you can keep throughout the season, um, and then you'll have it for sure. I'm so glad to see somebody, yay! I'm so glad to see you over on Insta on YouTube. It looks like, Sari, thank you so much for saying good morning to us. I'm tickled that you're here. As you're watching the replay too, if you happen to be watching the replay, leave those comments. Okay, I'm gonna stick a little bit of dirt in front of this, so you can see. Do y'all see this dirt in here? That's what our dirt is gonna look like, and we've got our rocks up at the front. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our, some sticks, and we're gonna cut these guys in half. So this is a stick, I will tell you, it's harder to cut in half than you would think. So the closer to the right size, we need three. That one's gonna work. Okay. Here we go. So glad to see you this morning. 70 in New Jersey today, that sounds amazing. I 70 sounds fantastic. Like. Yeah, 70 in New Jersey, is that right? Is it really that warm there? It's not that warm here. It's, I, I think I saw the high is like 65 today. So, okay, we're gonna take this. I saw yesterday, did anybody watch yesterday when Shree was talking about our one dish recipes? So we have a menu plan coming out next January. The recipes are already done. It's about to go to be printed. And the name one dish is totally fine, it's trademarked. So we're trying to come up with an option. So we're looking at one pot possibly. Okay, this is gonna be your little cross. Do y'all see this? Good morning, Janice, so glad to see you. Hey, Terry, I'm tickled you're over on YouTube this morning. Good morning, uh, Joe, let's see, good morning, Jenny. Laura says it's a beautiful day in Daytona. It's 65 degrees already. I bet, does it get super hot in Daytona in the summertime? 
I have been to Daytona, it's been many years ago. So you're gonna need to make sure you have a glue gun. I'm a little bit worried that my glue gun is not gonna make it through these three, but we're gonna, I should have gotten an extra stick, but I've got an extra one of these made. Okay, so we're gonna make three crosses. Your glue gun is gonna be your best friend as you're making this for sure. In Western Kentucky, good morning in Western Kentucky. My hubby is from Western Kentucky, so I know right where you're from. Okay, we've got two crosses ready to go. We're gonna do one more cross. In 75 in El Paso, the high in your area is supposed to be closer in the lower 70s. Good to know. Um, okay, so anyways, back to our one dish situation. We're thinking one pot is probably the best option for that recipe plan to be called one pot, but I don't love, it's not my favorite option, but I think it's all we got. Okay, so here are our crosses. Now I've got some seeds that I'm gonna stick in the front because what I would like to see happen is this grow a little bit throughout my, throughout uh, the Easter season. Hang on just a second. So I've got, I'm gonna put a little bit more dirt in here. Hang on. I might need, actually I need more dirt, hang on. I'm gonna go with my dirt, y'all. This is making a big mess in my kitchen. I've got some seeds. These are some lavender seeds. So I thought it'd be interesting to see if they grow. Hey, in Eastern Kentucky, good morning in, ten, in Windy and Sunny in 74 today. Hi, in Mississippi 70s there, Michelle. So glad to see you this morning. Okay, guys, how many of y'all have the home planner? Because as soon as we finish this, we're gonna tackle our home planner challenge. So if you are sitting watching me at home this morning, I hope you're getting your coffee in. I hope you've gotten some exercise in this morning. Go for a walk if you haven't already. Walking is so good for you guys. Um, I just read a great statistic, I'll tell you in a second. But grab your planner. Y'all, there's like, it says there are seeds. There's like four seeds in there. Okay, we're gonna just throw those guys in there. We're gonna put a little water in here. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add, hang on, the tomb. So this is our, this is just a clay, pot and then I'm using my Dollar Tree rock. Remember it looked like this on the front side. I'm going to use the back side and this is my resurrection bowl. It's kind of messy but I'll show you guys how it's going to look once we're all done so you can take a peek. Y'all I've got a big mess here. If we're going to clean we're going to do our home planner y'all. We're going to do our tasks in it. So if you're doing the home planner with me as soon as we finish this up we're going to I need to obviously clean this mess up. So I thought we would clean our kitchens, walk through our stuff in our planner today and talk about what we've gotten done. Also prep dinner. Okay. So this is my, this is my centerpiece. It's, this is from Target. These are from Hobby Lobby. And I believe this is from Target too. Yeah. This is hearth and hand. I've had it for years. And then this, all I did, the only thing I had to spend money on was the plants and the Dollar Tree thing. But this is our, hang on, these little guys look a little sad in there. We may have to give them a trim. This is our resurrection bowl. Um, and it's just neat to have, hopefully this grass will grow up or the lavender will grow up behind there. But what do y'all think? Oh, I forgot my third cross. Did I forget my third cross or did it just get in? I did. Hang on, thank you. Here's our third cross. I had to have this place to put it. Hang on. There we go. Okay. I love this as a, what do y'all think about that for a centerpiece? Um, I just think it's so fun for sure. Oh no, they announced this morning that the Dollar Tree is closing a thousand stores. Y'all, I love the Dollar Tree. So if you have things you need to get at the Dollar Tree, get them there because it's worth it. They, um, I love it, Vicki too. Okay, so now that we finished that, our next thing we're gonna tackle is our home planner. So pull out your home planner. We're gonna walk through everything in it. So let me know how you're doing. Exercise, how many of y'all exercise this morning? Who's done their exercising this morning? I went to the gym this morning, it feels so good on the days I get to do it. Showered, made beds. My husband has been making our bed, which I am so thankful for. It makes me so thankful. Um, start a little laundry. My girls are home. It's spring break. Lots of laundry going on here at our house. So I have like mounds of laundry in there to work on, but they're taking care of most of it. Clean bathroom sinks. I need to go do that. Plan and prep dinner. Let's talk about dinner real fast. What are y'all making for dinner? This is one of the most important things I think that is in the planner. I know it's silly, but if you are struggling with your finances, making dinner is huge if you don't have it done. So for us this morning, I looked in my freezer and here's what we're having. Sweet potato fries, 
hit burgers. We're gonna grill those. It's nice out. It feels like spring, so I'm gonna get those done. So tell me what you're making for dinner. Make sure you go ahead and plan that for sure. And then, I love when it gets warm enough that we can grill. And then we're gonna do our next thing, which is, this is where we, so we planned our dinner and prepped it. We're gonna wash and put away dishes and clean kitchen counters. So let's do the hard part. Are y'all ready? I, I don't know if Dollar Trees are closing. It sounds like some Dollar Trees are closing, so I don't wanna give y'all bad information, but come on over here and let's tackle. This is the mess that's in my kitchen. So whatever your mess is this morning, let's get it done. Let's go ahead and clean up all your stuff. I'm gonna put these away. I love this little, um, this is also from Target forever ago. This is a little bin, so I'll clean that. I need to figure out what should I do with this. I was gonna make another um, one of these resurrection rolls, bowl, resurrection bowls, in that you're making spaghetti, Tina says, spaghetti, lots of, I thought, you know what I wanted to make was the best ever baked spaghetti from the freezer meals. Y'all, yesterday I was looking at some pictures of some of our recipes. That best ever baked spaghetti from the freezer meals is probably the yummiest food we have ever made. It is delicious. I mean, so, so good. Anyways, if you're looking for something to make, I believe it's like maybe week eight of the freezer meals. So definitely try that one out. Let's come over here and let me pull this camera closer up so I can see you guys. Cause I can't see y'all from that far away. And then we'll do our kitchen sink and all the things. Oh, and y'all, this is the mess. Hang on, Ugh. this is bad. So if right now you are sitting at home and you're watching this and your kitchen is a disaster, I want you to walk right now to your kitchen and let's get this done. Here we go. Um, you're making the grilled five ingredient pork chops. I love that pork chop recipe. That is one of my all time favorites. Um, it's so, so good. And it's one of those things that you can marinate ahead and then you just always have good stuff. These guys, y'all, I'm gonna give these guys all, I'm gonna wash those today in the dishwasher. When they get really nasty, like they are right now, I just throw them in the dishwasher. And it's super easy. So if you're watching right now, I want you to grab, I want you to head to your kitchen if you've not done this already. Either be walking or be walked or be cleaning the sink with me as you're going. Don't just sit and watch me because there's nothing super exciting that I'm doing. But go ahead and hop up. Oh, I just made a big mess. I'm actually gonna go ahead and do my kitchen counters. So let's do those. Oh y'all, they're so bad. Especially because now I have dirt everywhere. I mean, I have dirt everywhere, everywhere. So bring y'all back with me. I'm going to unplug my, hang on, I'm going to unplug my glue stick so I don't make a big mess. Okay, you guys, here is my kitchen disaster. It's not really that bad, but this is my day to do it. Oh, that's a really high view. You probably don't need to see me that high up. Sorry, I didn't mean to stick that. Hamburgers um, are, is what you're making. You're not sure on the side. Listen, check and see if you've got any tater tots or anything in your fridge that you could do for a side super fast. These are like four little sad donuts that have managed to make it through the week at our house. I'm gonna wash this plate off because it's disgusting. And then, yeah, this is really bad. We're gonna do this last. This has been, somebody brought us these little donuts and my girls have been munching on them all week, so I'm not gonna throw them away, but this is where we've been having, we've had a bunch of treats because we had, um, Caroline brought in some friends this weekend, so we've had a lot of food here, and that was my tray that I was feeding them all off of, but it needs to be cleaned up. Okay, I'm going to tackle this, the countertops now. So as you're watching, don't just sit here and watch me. Like, you have to hop up and do this. If you have the home planner, you know the drill, girlies. We haven't done this in a while, so... Um, does that done thingy keep things fresh? Yes, the dome keeps things fresh through the week. Like I've had them for several days and they've been great. Scrubbing bubbles works great on the sink. I agree. I'm gonna use Mrs. Myers and get my kitchen sparkly clean. So y'all, as you're watching, my audio is gonna be funky because I'm way over here. But let's get this done. I'm so excited to get my own done. So I hope that this will encourage and motivate you guys as well. This is a mess, y'all. This is a mess. Um, you gave almost all the recipe boxes. You have almost all the recipe boxes, but is there any chance you all are in the future making a vegan box? We are not doing a vegan box. However, 
Have, do you have a side dishes box? Because those side dishes are hearty sides and I feel like they might be a really good option for you if you're eating vegan for sure. So maybe try that out and see what works. Hey, Diane, so glad to see you. Where did you get the dome tray? I got that home good several years ago and I absolutely love it. I use it, I mean, anytime we have guests over, I just throw food throughout the weekend when they're here and there and then I just kind of keep things. They look prettier um, until it gets real dirty. Y'all, this was in sore need of getting done today. So I hope that you guys are getting yours done as well and that it's feeling like you're tackling your stuff. So definitely be watching. So glad to see you. Good morning, Gemma, on YouTube. Is anybody else on YouTube? And while I have y'all here, is there anybody here who has never been on Passionate Penny Pincher before? I would love to say good morning to you if you're new. And I know the folks who are watching would love to say good morning too. Okay, you use the Mrs. Myers products as well and they do great. They really do a nice job. Okay, we have our... I think they just smell good too and they look pretty. And so somehow if you get to clean with pretty stuff, it just feels a little happier. So I encourage you this morning, guys, no matter where you're at in your life, whether you have the perfect home that you've already dream, always dreamed of, or if it's just, um, maybe you're not, your house isn't exactly what you want to be. Take a few minutes to really tackle what you do have and see how that feels for you. Holly uses Myers as well and they work as great. Gemma says, hello. Um, Hey, Lisa, so glad to see you this morning. Okay, the last thing is gonna to be to get this guy cleaned out. I'm gonna wipe everything down with a dry towel. This feels so good when it's done. Can you combine all your recipes in a large cookbook? You don't want all the boxes. We are not planning to do that at this point. Um, we're not planning to. We do have an idea in the works that I'll tell you about more once we have it set up. That might help for sure. Um, and you can definitely get just the PDF files for sure as well. Good morning, Siri says, when does the home planner lunch? You wanna make sure you save. Uh, Siri said, sorry, let me say that again. <laughs> Siri asked when the home planner launches. It will launch in September. I'm not sure what the date is gonna be, but definitely save up some money. It's typically around, usually around $50. We try to get it so that you get free shipping. Um, Shipping for us costs $14 for every item that we sell. So I try to get it to be a reasonable price for you guys um, and that we still make a profit too, for sure. Hey, so glad to have Buttercup Creations. I'm tickled you're on YouTube this morning. Hey, Nancy, so glad to see you. Um, hi, Mary, tickled you're here. Good morning, Terry Alexander. Hey, oh, Nancy actually is new here. I'm tickled. Um, nothing feels better than a shiny, clean home. I agree. Okay, so we're gonna tackle the last thing is to finish out this big disaster. Y'all, look at my poor dome tray. Y'all were saying you liked it. This is what it looks like after a week of, we had five, maybe five girls, but with six with all of my kids. So we had six girls here since, gosh, sun, no. They got here Friday and they all left yesterday. And they were the sweetest, like, you know when your kids find a good friend and you're just so grateful? They were really sweet girls, um, and they had the best time, I think. Um, they said they had the best time, so it was lovely to have them, but like I said, I'm kind of just catching up on getting all the things tidied up, and I'm gonna show you what I'll do with that tray. So I'm just, like I said, slowly catching up, and I encourage you, as you're watching, definitely do this as well. Good morning, so glad to see you. Um, Pam, I'm tickled you're here this morning. Okay, we're gonna get this done. And we're gonna get this guy done. Like I said, do not just sit and watch me. You need to be definitely like tackling something in your home as you go. It will make you feel so much better. I'm gonna stick these four little sad donuts back here on the tray. And that way they're good to go. That's kind of how I do them. Does that make, hang on, let me see if y'all can see that. That way um, they look nice, but not as messy as it was before. Let's go ahead and finish up our sink. Um, yeah, so I love, thank you so much, Kendall, for saying that. Oh, Cassandra says, can't jump up right now. You're paralyzed by two little old gals. You have a lot done. Oh, praying, Cassandra, it sounds like you have two happy pets that are snuggling with you this morning. That is so fun. And yes, when they're ready to get up, you hop up and get some stuff done as well. Um, good morning. So glad to see you, Donna. I hope you're having a great day. Let me see the rest of the comments here. I mean, how is the YouTube view working, guys? I'm curious. For those of you on Facebook, I am not leaving Facebook. I'm trying to come up with some options because Facebook doesn't always let us get seen. So we're looking at possibly just streaming to both at one time. 
but I'm not quite sure how that's gonna go. So this was me testing it out one more time today. And then we'll make a final decision later this week on this company and whether or not it'll work. So, oh, we got some new comments, yay. You have the sides, you're gonna go ahead and order the sides right now. Listen, those side dish, that side dish box is gonna help you so much if you are looking for some great, um, some great side dishes to try out. I am about to finish up. I'm gonna clean up the rest of the space and then if y'all have any questions, go ahead and start asking. I'll do a quick answer any question type morning, super fast because we haven't done that in forever. So I'll do that really quickly and then I'll hop off and let y'all get to your day. We're gonna go put this, hang on, let's get this so you can see it. I'm gonna put this back over here. Um, I'm gonna get a fresh towel out. I always like to kind of start my morning. Usually, if I'm really good, I set this up at night. I'll set myself up with a fresh sink. And some of y'all may think this is all crazy. If you're new, you may be like, this crazy woman, what is she talking about? But for us, our house just runs better. I run a full-time job. I have a very full-time business and have learned how to manage and be a stay-at-home mom to three cute kids who have now just got a junior and then my other kids who are in high school, college. And so it has allowed me to just have some peace in our home despite a kind of crazy schedule. And I hope that'll do it for you as well. If you hopped on late and you missed it, I will show you. This was our DIY that we just did. That is gonna be the centerpiece for us for Easter. It's the Dollar Tree DIY, it's a resurrection bowl. Yay on YouTube, Terry. I'm so glad it's working on YouTube, yay. Sit, look, I'll set this over here so you can see this. You can kind of look at it, maybe we'll. I'll do it there and then you can kind of watch. Okay, let me ask any questions really fast. Um, so glad to see you on Buttercup Creations. Thank you for letting me know it's working. Where do you put your washcloth after finishing cleaning up? I'll throw these in laundry. These are all pretty gross. So I'll throw them in the wash drawer for sure. You have all the boxes. I'm so glad, Jolene, that means so much to me. This is perfect, I'm so glad. Diane says, isn't it nice when your kiddos want to come home from school? It is so nice. It was so fun having Caroline and her friends home. We had such a good time. It was just such a good weekend for sure with them. Uh, what do you use to clean the floor? I use a Swiffer. I honestly, I vacuum a ton, mostly do a vacuum, and then I sweep it using my, um, what's that big mop that we love? The mop that everybody loves. The, what's that mop, guys? I love that mop. What's, oh, Cedar. The Odor, oh, Cedar Spin Mop. I use that along with a little bit of Mrs. Meyers uh, multi-purpose spray. I put a little bit of Mrs. Meyers in there and a bunch of water and it makes the house smell lovely. I love it, best stuff ever. Um, you love the recipe boxes, Carly said. Let's see, Carly says she loves the recipe boxes. You swear by them. Um, you have mirrors made in the freezer because we have a 13 year old in wrestling baseball. Y'all, those freezer boxes, those freezer recipes. Yesterday I was looking through some of those they are the best recipes ever. If you need great recipes, they're definitely worth it. Spin Mop, thank you. Those donuts will be fresh inside of that. They'll stay fresh. Um, yay, I'm glad to hear it's working on YouTube. Good morning in Houston, Sherry and to Sherry and Sari. So glad to see you guys. Okay, I think I got all the questions answered. Listen, you guys, I, let me make sure I've got all of your questions done. Um, it looks like we got everything in here, so. I think we got all the questions, you guys. Everything is working and Facebook and YouTube got the notification at the same time. You love cleaning with you this morning. Thank you, Pr Princess Dumera. I'm so tickled you saw us here this morning over on YouTube. Okay, so here you go, guys. Tackle your home, take care of your money and finances, plan something for dinner. This is our no spend challenge month, though, so this is a fun little DIY you can make. You probably have everything you need to make this one already at home. So tackle something in your home that you love. Um, Somebody says, what is, real quickly, let's see, Kendall says, what is the best way to wash off your cleaner when you use too much on the counter? Oh, did you use like too much of a spray cleaner that made it all sticky and bubbly? You just have to keep going. Lots of hot water and just keep at it is the best way to go for sure. Um, you love DIY, but don't always feel creative. Siri, this one you can do. And I think it just is a nice little way, nice little thing to look at your table. So I hope you like that. I hope, try it out, see if it works for you. Y'all have an amazing day. Tackle your home.